All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakurash. Yahweh is the true, holy, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, Bahasham, meaning in the name. Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, and powerful name of His only begotten Son, who is the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting off with the elects within the nation of Israel. Israel consists of you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as well as your Israelite foreigners scattered abroad. That may look like the nations where you've been scattered to, but our Israelites. And I also want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing out this word in all sincerity and the truth. All right, this is the brother you call from the GMS branch out in Des Moines. I will coming back at you with another lesson inspired by the Holy Spirit, Havar All right, and I'm uh, just going on a little stroll, and I was uh, I actually had a lesson that I had uh, put together, all right, through the Spirit, based off of a conversation and a couple of precepts that. We had went into uh, in our in our class uh, yesterday, and we were speaking about the the public judgments that have been going down. All right, you had recently, uh, I think it's a uh, PNB Rock or something like that. You know, the rapper that just got a uh, that just got uh, judged. All right, the Lord took his spirit. All right, and um, in the sight of uh, a a lot of people. All right, it, it was a uh, film. You know. And you've been seeing an uptick in that, all right? The last the last couple of years, man, I was looking at some article that said uh, this, just in this year alone, it was like 220 something rappers that have died, all right? And then the year before that, it was like uh, 200. And then the year before that, it was another number, but the Lord is intensifying these judgments, all right? And he's doing it in the sight of the masses, man, to show forth that these are wicked men, all right, and to also show forth the judgment, once again, for rebelling against Yahweh Hashem Yahweh I had another precept I was going to start off with, but through the Spirit, I'm going to hit this in the book of Maccabees. All right, second Maccabees. Dang. All right, this is uh, second Maccabees chapter four and verse... Uh, 17 it says for it is not a light thing to do wickedly against the laws so for it is not a light thing to do wickedly against the laws of the most high but the time following shall declare these things that's right all right so you got our people that are caught up in rebellion and as it is written in the book of ecclesiastes 8 and 11 it says because a uh, sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily therefore are the hearts of the son of men uh, fully setting them to do evil right so our people's mentality is like well shit i can do whatever i want live it up all right be a damn demon and nothing's gonna happen to me all right that's what the sinners of our people say in the book of amos it says the sinners of my people shall die by the sword which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us so they really don't think the lord is uh, gonna bring forth judgment but here it is the lord is bringing forth judgment every single day man as it is written in the book of uh in the book of zephaniah um this is zephaniah chapter i think it's three All right, this is uh, the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3 and verse 5. It says, the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. All right, so that's the key point right there. It says that the Lord will not do iniquity, meaning that the judgment that he brings forth is righteous, man. All right, no matter what happens, no matter how it goes down, man, hey, the, 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 Lord, the Lord's judgment is righteous, man. All right, we're going to go into this precept in the book of Job. But even with uh, everything that the Lord brought Job through, all right, and the Lord called Job a perfect man. But yet he was righteous in what he allowed him to go through. All right. The brother did a, a beautiful lesson. All right. Um, the big bro Mathati did a beautiful lesson and we've been talking about it. All right. Uh, for the past like week or so, you know, because that's been his read going into the book of Job. All right. And, and seeing what uh, why the Lord was angry with Job. See, a lot of the times, you know, well, I'll say I'll speak for me, you know, reading that that story in Job, even uh, before the faith, you know, and coming into the faith. Even the, like the first two times I, I read through Job uh, in the faith, I still couldn't put a finger on uh, why the Lord was uh, angry at Job, you know, but the Lord was angry. Uh, the Lord was ultimately angry at Job because he was pretty much saying that he was uh, 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 unworthy to go through the things that the Lord was bringing him through. All right. That he shouldn't have been going through it. All right. You know. But that wasn't the case, man. As it is written, all right, uh, no, no one uh, perish uh, being innocent. All right, so these people that are being, that are dropping dead, 
all right that's the judgment of the lord all right and they're worthy of the things that they're going through and the things that they suffer it says in the book of wisdom of solomon that it's not agreeable with the lord's power to condemn him who's not worthy to be who's unworthy to be punished all right so the lord isn't going to bring a judgment or a punishment upon you that you haven't done things that have uh, made you worthy of it all right whether it's in this life or whether it's in your past lives man all right so going back to the point that the brother had made hey, even with job all right it said that he was a perfect man all right the lord boasted of him but we don't know what he did in his past lives man all right even the example that i'd like to uh consider is yahweh shai all right yahweh shai man he lived a, uh he lived perfectly as being yahweh shai but he was paying also for the sins that he committed as king solomon the sins that he committed as adam all right when he suffered through what he suffered through man all right so even when with uh what uh yahweh shai had to go through and of course we understand that he was paying for the nation of uh uh, paying for the sins of the nation of Israel as well. He was carrying those iniquities as well, all right, being that sacrifice for us. But what the Lord uh, had him go through, all right, even Yahweh Shai said, there's none good but him that dwelleth in heaven. When somebody called him good, they said, good master. You know, I can't remember what they said after that, but he, he has said, there's none good but him that dwelleth in heaven. All right, so that's something that we got to keep in mind, man. But going back to, um, going back to this uh, scripture here in the book of Zephaniah, all right, this is uh, Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse uh, 5. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. All right, so the Lord wasn't going off for how he took out that rapper. All right, how he's making these niggas drop dead. All right, and so on and so forth, man. It says, um, every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. All right, so these people, all right, even though judgment is happening, they don't even perceive it, man. Hey, it, and it says the unjust knoweth no shame. All right, because when you get judged, all right, you're supposed to be ashamed and repent, all right? That's the point of the Lord, bringing particular judgments down so that you can repent and turn away from your iniquities, man, okay? But what? They continue to revolt. They don't consider it being Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai's judgment, all right? And um, and continue on their wickedness, man, going back to that Ecclesiastes, the eighth chapter, all right? They don't think the, and, and they don't think the Lord is going to do anything, man, but let's go to this. All right, in the book of, uh, uh, what was I finna hit? All right, let me grab this main precept. All right, this is the book of Job, chapter 34. And you know what? I might start up a little bit. All right, just give me one second. Job 34. In verse uh, 26 and 27 is the point. All right, how we doing? All right, this is Job chapter uh, 34 and verse, um, uh, I'm gonna start at verse 25. Or 24, it says, uh, oh, 23, all right, come on. It says, for he will not lay upon man more than right that he should enter into judgment with the most high. All right, so the Lord isn't gonna put upon somebody more than what they actually have uh, made themselves uh, worthy of or more than what they deserve. And that's another thing that we were talking about, man, through the spirit, all right, that our people, they walk around with this mentality that they don't deserve to go through whatever they're going through, all right, the hell that they're going through, or whatever the case it may be, or they feel like they deserve more, like, I shouldn't be going, uh, I, I deserve more for myself, all right, you hear women say that all the time, oh, I deserve better, I deserve this and that and the third, all right, when in reality, no, you don't, all right, we all deserve death. Oh, okay, it says that in the book of Sirach, man. Um, it says, reproach not a man that turneth from sin, knowing that we are all worthy of punishment, man. All right, in the book of uh, Romans, it also says how the world is guilty before the Most High. All right, so if you want to throw out, all right, if you want to uh, go into what you feel like you deserve, well, then you got to bring out all your wickedness, man. That's why even in the book of Psalms, it says, if the Lord was to count iniquities, who could stand? Okay. All right, so you get, even, even with us uh, doing... Um, these good works that the Lord has inspired us to do first and foremost, keep that in mind, all right? The Lord has put the spirit on us to serve him, to worship him, to turn from sin, to give us a repentant heart, all right? And, and separate us from the rest of our people. So that's all of the Lord first and foremost, okay? But uh, even though we're doing all these things, we still deserve death, all right? No amount of work that you're putting in could uh, could atone for your own sins, all right? That's why you have what I had to do it. Okay, so we're doing these things in hopes for mercy. All right, showing the Lord that we're, we're truly repentful and sorrowful and doing these good works, man. Okay, but at the end of the day, 
all right, you if you can pull out all the good works that you so-called do, all right, you can pull out all the uh, the times that you might have helped somebody out, all right, the times that or helped a brother out, you know, you can pull out all the the the, the tithes and offerings that you've given, you can pull out all your lessons, okay, all your uh, 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 the times that you broke bread with a brother, somebody called you in the middle of the night, needed your help, and you came through. You can pull out all that, and it still wouldn't add up, all right, to outweigh the amount of sins and iniquities that you've committed, man. All right. So we got to keep that in the, uh, in, in the uh, proper perspective, man. OK. But anyway, it says Job chapter 34 and verse uh, 23, for he will not lay upon man more than right that he should enter into judgment with the most high. He shall break in pieces mighty men without number and set others in their stead. Therefore, he knoweth their works and he overturneth them in the night so that they are destroyed. He striketh them as wicked men in the open sight of others. And that is the key verse all right, that, you know, uh, the brother Mathathi had brought out and it stood out because right, we talk about, you know, how the Lord is going to be judging these people publicly. All right. More public judgments are going to be happening. And once again, you see an uptick in that. All right. But that's scriptural, man. It says that he striketh them as wicked men in the open sight of others. And that's why all right, these different individuals are getting smote on camera, man. In the open sight of others, man. And the Lord would do these type of judgments to send fear throughout the nations, man. All right, throughout our people. All right, and to give you a prime example, this is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 13. And um, uh, let me start at verse 9 just to go into what this law is. Now, when you read throughout our law, there was a lot of judgments. Uh, or There were various judgments, should I say, for particular uh, crimes that were committed. Uh, you had a, uh, if a priest's daughter, she would have committed whoredom. All right, she'd have to be burned, all right, with fire, okay? That was in the open sight of others. Why? So that other people would fear. Yeah, let me not do that. Why? Because that is the consequences of it. So since our people don't perceive the consequences of these judgments, they don't have a fear of continuing the life that they're living, right? But let me go to it, Deuteronomy 30 and verse, uh, in verse, uh, Oh, I'm in 30. I'm in 13. All right, Deuteronomy 13 and 10. Just bear with me. All right, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 13 and verse uh, 8. All right. Now, this is uh, going into, just to give a background, all right, so this is going into um, an individual, all right, whether it's a family member, somebody close to you, a friend, all right, if they're trying to um, uh, persuade you to go serve and worship other gods, verse 8, it says, Thou shalt not consent, Deuteronomy 13 and 8, Thou shalt not consent unto him, nor hearken unto him, neither shall thine eye pity him, neither shalt thou spare, neither shalt thou conceal him, but thou shalt surely kill him. Thine hand shall be first upon him to put him to death, and afterwards the hand of all the people. And thou shalt stone him with stones, that he die, because he hath sought to thrust thee away from the Lord Yahweh thy power, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. And just going into these different entertainers, that's what they're doing, man. All right. They're separating you from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. They're putting out this, these wicked vibrations, glorifying in, uh, uh, in wicked deeds. Okay. All right. They're thrusting you away from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But it says, uh, it says, uh, verse 11, and all Israel shall hear and fear. And shall do no more any such wickedness as this is among you, right? So these things were happening publicly. Why? So that all Israel would hear of the judgment and they would fear. So if anybody was considering doing something like that, worshiping another God, they already know what was going down, man. Okay. And like we read in that Maccabees, man, that the time, uh, the time uh, to come will show for it, man. I don't know if I... Uh, Finish that precept, but I still got it up, so I'm gonna finish it if I didn't. Second Maccabees chapter four and verse uh, uh, 17. For it is not a light thing to do wickedly against the laws of the Most High, but the time following shall declare these things. That's right. So the judgments that the Lord is gonna be bringing down, as it is written in the Book of Psalms, the Lord is known in His judgment. So when these things are happening, especially because you have the prophets out in the highways and byways telling you what's gonna happen, that the Lord is gonna be doing these judgments and why He's doing it. Okay. It's going to show forth, man. It's going to be made evident, okay? <laughs> that is nothing sweeter than to uh, to hearken, all right? To hearken, 
it's an inside joke, <laughs> all right? But it's nothing fear to, um, it's nothing uh, sweeter than to uh, to walk in the fear of Yahweh by Shemi was shy, man. Okay, this these people are gonna recognize that. That is a reward for doing what's right in the eyes of the Lord, man. Okay, but this is uh, another example, all right? In our law, Deuteronomy chapter twenty-one and twenty, and this is uh, going into a, a rebellious son. Okay, Deuteronomy chapter twenty-one and verse twenty. It says. Uh, I'm going to start at verse 18. If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son, which will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, that they, and that when they have chastened him, will not hearken unto them, then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him and bring him out unto the elders of his city and unto the gate of his place. All right, so he's brought out in the open, okay, before everybody, all the elders around, all the people around, right? And they shall say unto the elders of his city, this our son is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard. And all the men of the city, it says, and all the men of the city shall stone him with stones that he die. So shalt thou put evil away from among you and all Israel shall hear in fear. So that's key. Okay, so that all Israel shall hear in fear. So these judgments that are happening on, vi on video, on film, is for what? that all Israel will hear in fear. And that's why you need the, uh, the prophets, all right, out on the highways and byways to tell you who's responsible of doing these things, man. Because the church will tell you all, oh, Satan, he, he's doing all this, okay? Giving credit to Satan when not realizing that he works for the heavenly father, okay? But no, man, as it says in the book of Isaiah, the 45th chapter, it says, I form the light, the, I form the light and create darkness. I create peace and I create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things, man. It's the Lord that's doing it. It's the Lord that's ordaining, all right, these rappers to die, children to be killed, okay? And people have fulfilled the works that made them worthy of those judgments, man. Plain and simple. Amos 3 and um, 6, I believe, man. All right, or, or 3 and 7. But it says, uh, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord hath not done it? So any evil, any bad things that happen, guess who did it, man? Yahweh about Shimei I was shy, all right? Hey, that bug, all right, <laughs> that got stepped on, the Lord had to appoint that, man, okay? Man, that's the spirit. I'm walking, and I see a, a damn dead rat on the ground, all right, <laughs> and, and some uh, bees in, inside of it. That's weird. All right, but uh, but I said that was the spirit just because that's what I was speaking on, man. An animal dies. That the Lord, the Lord ordains that, man, in the animal kingdom, okay? Hey, the Lord ordains these things, man. It says uh, a sparrow can't fall from heaven unless the Lord appoints it, man. All right. And like we were speaking in class, man, you think that's just limited to a bird? All right. If a bird dies, it's the Lord that appoints it. But if anything else dies, the Lord ain't do it. Okay. <laughs> it says how the Lord bring it down to the grave and he bring it up. All right. So these, this is being done by Yahweh, by Shemi, I was shot. And they expect more uh, public, public uh, examples. All right. These different entertainers, because really, you know, we were speaking in the spirit, and I've been noticing there's really a lot of these new niggas that's coming up, all right, who the Lord is just, bam, offing them early. They might have had two years in the game, all right, rapping about some bullshit, two years in the game, and then what? They get offed, all right, have these niggas that's dying, I don't even know who they are, okay, but these bigger entertainers and celebrities, they ain't really dropping dead like that. And I believe that's all through the spirit, because the Lord has a greater judgment that he's going to bring forth in the sight uh, of the masses, man. And we was talking in the spirit, man. Hey, the Lord, hey, the Lord can, um, the Lord can take out particularly these individuals and raise them back up so they get the nukes. Okay. This is the terror of the Lord, man. This is the power that we're dealing with. Okay. The king of terrors, man. Even when Yahweh Shah was on the scene, you had different spirits that, uh, uh, that the Lord sent back and they came out of their graves. All right. And walked. Okay. So who's to say that the Lord doesn't do those same things to, to, to finish out the judgment. All right. A lot of these niggas, I, and this is just me personally speaking, I don't think the Lord is done with a lot of these niggas, man. Even certain of these individuals that's dying right now. All right. I think the Lord's going to raise some of them back up. Okay. Just to get these, uh, just to get a missile, man. All right. But Hey, you know, we'll, we'll see, man. I know one thing, though, the Lord is going to surprise us with, uh, the different judgments that he's going to be bringing down, man. He's going to have us in awe. Even though we're reading in the, reading these things and we know particularly these things, man, and the Lord is going to far exceed uh, our expectations, man. Best believe that. All right, so uh, let me go ahead and end it off. Uh, let's see, I hit that, I hit that. All right, this is Luke, the 13th chapter. 
And we're going to start at verse 1. This is Luke chapter 13 and verse 1. It says, They were present at that season, some that told him of the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. So this was a gruesome death. Okay. It says, uh, And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all, the Galileans, because they suffered such things? I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. All right, so that's straight to the point. Okay? So even though they died in a gruesome way, hey, the Lord, hey, how's it going? Hey, the Lord had to let them know what's up, man. Oh, you think they was the most wicked because of how they went out? Showing you that our people had a, a sense of spirituality. All right, they'll recognize, like, how somebody... How the uh, Lord had took him out and be like, oh, yeah, nah, he was wicked, man. <laughs> okay. All right, that was that was judgment from the Lord. They recognize those things as being judgment, man. Now it's just uh, a coincidence and sad or whatever the case may be. But shows you our people had a sense of uh, spirituality and, and, and associating uh, uh, associating those things with the judgment of the Lord. But it says uh, verse four or it says or those 18 upon whom the tower in Siloam fell and slew them. Think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwelt in Jerusalem? I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish, man. So you had a building that fell on 13 people, man. Crushed them, all right? <laughs> That's a gruesome way to die, man. So it was the Lord that did it, that ordained that to go down, okay? And the Lord had told him, man, yeah, if you don't repent, hey, ex expect the same things to happen to you, man, all right? So, hey, the same thing, man. Hey, these people dropping dead on camera, on film, all right? This should be sending fear throughout Israel, man. Hey, the scriptures talk about it, all right? Uh, how the Lord will send the judgment upon the people that uh, if a man heareth it, even his ear shall tingle, man. Okay? So he hears it, it's like, oh, shit. I'm like, damn. You know? And once again, man, we got to let you know, man, as, as many as niggas die and <laughs> we do lessons on it, we got to let it be known that this is of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, to instill the fear of the Lord throughout our people, man. Okay, but I'm ending right there through the Spirit, Lord's what I was edifying. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakurash, the Bahanas to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing out this word in all sincerity and the truth. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.